see it come up here in a minute. And it's stinging. And post. Okay. That's shared. Good. I may have just shared it to our timeline again. Let me let me fix that. I hate when I do that. Share. Posting is. Well, that's not good. Um. Huh. Let's get this thing going here. Wait a tick. What was that? What was that? Do you know what that was? <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right. Mike, or you folks, go ahead. Somebody who's watching, please share it to my timeline. What was that? <laughs> share. What was that? Write you post. Know what was? I don't know what that was. <laughs> somebody, folks, somebody share it to my timeline if you're watching. Okay? Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. You ready? Let's do a show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Akron's hottest and fastest growing show, 330 to go. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live from downtown Hudson, Ohio, where we're gonna take a walk around town tonight. But before we do that, folks, tonight's episode is brought to us once again by LaBelle's Barber Parlor. LaBelle's is located inside what is now known as the East End, which are the Goodyear Historical Buildings. Their state-of-the-art facility boasts big screen TVs, a coffee bar, and compressed air at every station. It's like being in a hunting lodge living room. They have recently added to their staff, and now have more availability, so make sure you call 330-472-0497 and tell them Hank sent you. You can find them on Facebook online as, and online as well, and boy, do they make guys look good. Folks, we also did a thing. If you haven't been paying attention, we're now an Alexa-approved flash briefing skill. So live right now on Amazon, you can enable that uh, 330 to go morning minute. And every morning I'm giving you uh, all kinds of news, uh, fun little tidbits about what the national day calendar says that it is, uh, as well as some weather on the day, and usually some specials as far as, uh, you know, some food foodie specials. And, and, and also make sure you enter our secret Acme shopper code. I won't say it. It's a secret, but I'll, I'll tell you at some point. All right, but p please make sure we'll include all the links tonight uh, on our on our morning minute as well. And guys, in addition, tonight is brought to us by the Stray Dog Food and Condiment Cart. At and the Akron Pickle Cart. You can find them both on Facebook and online, along with their schedule, where they're gonna be. And here we are, folks. We are at downtown historical Hudson Square. Let me go ahead and mute my phone so it's not annoying. Ding, 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 ding. Good, all right. So right now, in the shot behind me, you're seeing the historical clock tower. If you heard uh, the broadcast start off, uh, the broadcast started off with the tower dinging. Uh, it still does ring every 15 minutes, and every hour on the hour, it does play a, a historical song. Hello, hello, big uh, crane that just went by. But it's really interesting, right? Because if you understand the history behind Hudson, there's so much more to this city that people don't even realize. And it's one of those deals where we decided to take a, a further in-depth look at one of our local towns in the 330, and, and Hudson is the, the location we've chosen for you tonight. So the history of Hudson actually begins in Connecticut, of all places. The colony of Connecticut had, from 1632, laid claim to a 120-mile stretch of Ohio territory, which came known as the Connecticut Western Reserve. You're going to hear some names here that are very uh, popular with this area, right? Flipping script. I need a page turner. 
After an Indian war was won in the region, the Western Reserve seemed ripe for settlement on November 2nd, 1795. Connecticut sold the reserve to a land syndicate comprised of 35 investors known as the Connecticut Land Company. The sale was concluded for $1.2 million for the estimated 3 million acres, or roughly 40 cents per acre. Allahs and Katuri continued to flourish after the Civil War. First of all, there's a whole part before the Civil War, right? So they're founded in 1795, and the, the town was booming and growing rapidly uh, as expansion continued across the country. And although Hudson continued to flourish uh, after the Civil War, by 1882, a series of natural disasters threw the town into a complete and total state of distress. The first blow came in that year when Western Reserve College relocated to Cleveland, partly because of what this town was known for in terms of uh, slavery abolishment. In 1882, in 1890, a fire broke out, consuming an important mill and a factory, and only two years later, a second fire erupted on what is now Main Street, and it literally burned the whole town to the ground. The final blow came to the town in 1904 when Hudson's only bank, the Produce Exchange Bank of Cleveland, suddenly closed its doors following an embezzlement case. Many citizens' savings were all wiped out by the closure, and taken together, all these tragedies in a row sent Hudson in a complete economic slump, which were not for the invention of intervention of one man would have left the town in complete and total distress in the foreseeable future. That man was named James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth was born in Hudson in 1849. And he was a well-known millionaire who had made his money in banking and had watched the town grow up. When Once the town fell into disrepair, Ellsworth returned to Hudson in 1907 when he retired and found the streets were still dirt. There was no city water, there were no sewers, and the schools he attended had all closed. He set out to improve these conditions, including what some consider Ellsworth's greatest gift to the city. In 1912, Ellsworth contracted New York architect Henry Hardenberg to design and build a clock tower. That's what you see here. So just like in Back to the Future, the most important part of this town is its clock tower. Hardenberg built the 44-foot, 9-inch tall Hudson Tower in a traditional Romanesque style. The original clockworks were supplied by the E. Howard Clock Company of Boston. The gravitational pull of 3,000 pounds of weights powered the clock in Westminster chimes. The town marshal was responsible every three days to go up into the tower and to rewind the gears so that they would drop the weights. Moving on. About 20 years ago, the weights were replaced by electric motors. There's that car again. That's a 427 Ford Co Cobra. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> wow, okay. Actually, that's a different car, but that one's just as sweet. Speaking of, right now, uh, in, in downtown Hudson on the other side at Johnny's, they're having a cruise in right now, so that's why you're seeing a lot of these classic cars driving around. Okay. Anyway, the fountains were built on the north and the west side of the tower. You can still see the fountains to this day, and now the fountains have been replaced as flower basins. So those are actual fountains. One on this side was for the horses, and the other was for people. Okay. The Hudson Clock Tower is easily one of the most recognizable landmarks in all of Summit County. Its construction is due to one man, and that's James Ellsworth. Okay. So literally, a philanthropist millionaire decided to save the town of Hudson. It was in dire need and trouble. Okay. So once the historical area is now behind us, you can see it's in the form of a square, which is pretty typical of a lot of the towns here in Northeast Ohio. The square then radiates outward. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to head on down this direction. And I've already alerted. I've already alerted a lot of these businesses. Uh, first of all, to to take note, Hudson is an early morning town. That means most of these businesses open at 7, 8, and 9 a.m. And, and throughout the course of the day, they have a tendency to close at 4, 5, 6 p.m. They have all kinds of different odd hours, right? So when I went into a lot of these businesses, most of them said that they would be closed by the time that we started filming. However, it does not mean that we're not going to at least show you uh, the main street. Uh, this The interesting part about the city is... <clears throat> It's maintained its historical character. So the, the main streets in downtown Hudson are all older buildings and all kind of one and done type shops. They're not like they're not like chains. Uh, you know, they're they're mom and pop owned and they're local. So that's the neat part about the community. In addition to that, behind the main street, uh, the shops continue on down another two or three blocks in every direction. So it's not like 
it's not like there's just one street to walk down in some of the other towns that we've been a part of. Uh, for example, when we were at Barberton, all right, we're, we're, that's that's our first destination right there. You want to go to the crosswalk? You want to try to go across? Well, let's just we'll go we'll go now we'll go now. All right, heading across. All right, so we're gonna go. There's a barber shop over here down in the corner. Owen Brown Street down over there. Owen Brown, one of the founders of the city, along with the Hudson Brothers. Okay, so here we are with Emily Amor, a modern apothecary. Is it apothecary or apothecary? So I had mentioned, and then we were gonna stop in. So some of these places will be open. We're gonna stop in and say hello. Okay. And as soon as you walk in, you can smell all the good stuff. All right, heading on in. So this is our first shop. We're going to stop in and visit and say hello. All right, so right now, <clears throat> so, uh, tell me the right way to say it. Is it apothecary or apothecary? Well, it's apothecary, but our okay. store name is Amelia Moore. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name's Hank. Hi, I'm Christine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Christine. So right now what we're doing, uh, I, I mentioned, probably, was that your mom that I met earlier? Yeah, that's okay. my mother. She's the owner. Okay, so um, what we're doing today is we're highlighting the city of Hudson. So we started with the clock tower and we talked about the history behind the city. But what I really want to point out is the shops that are here. You, yeah. You have, uh, it's a very unique town in regards to... You know, it's not like it's not like chain stores, right? So it's mom and pop owned stores, and I know you guys put a lot of pride into that. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and tell us about your store? Tell how, how long you've been here. And, and well, we started here in the winter time, but we this is actually our second location. Okay. Our first location is actually in Hartville Marketplace, the nice. farmers market. Very nice. And we've been there for about three and a half years, okay. and then we started to branch out to Hudson. Okay. Um, because we actually live only about 20 minutes from here. Very nice. Uh, we started when my mother discovered oils about six years ago. Okay. And she brought me on because we love to bring good natural things to people and really help people. And that's our main goal. Okay. Okay. So we really make um, a lot of therapeutic essential oils. That's our main thing here. We do massages at our Hartville location, which okay. is open. Um, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. In this location here, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. What are your typical hours here? Um, nine to five. Okay, so nine to five. So thanks for staying open for us. Of course, so anything. Um, so, okay, so throughout the course of the day, uh, do people have an option to purchase from you guys online as well? Yes, we have our website. Um, I think I'm seeing it right there. It's yes, it's the number four and then our store name, AmeliaMoore.com. Okay. And we ship throughout the United States and then overseas sometimes um, we're available. And we package everything individually in bubble wrap, very secure. And um, we try not to ship anything that needs to be cooled in the summertime. Usually we pr prefer to send those out in the wintertime okay. because everything is fresh and handmade with natural products. We don't use anything that is chemical like red color or food coloring, that kind of chemical, because since everything is chemical. Okay. So we try to stick with everything that is natural and non-sensitizing to the skin. Okay. It's a, you know, take a look at our viewers. Is there anything else that you'd like to say about your store? Um, well, you know, we're brand new here. A lot of people don't really realize from looking outside our store because it looks just like a house. So we really want you just to come in, just take a look and smell everything we have. We give out samples and we just love to meet new people in our community. We will do our best to get the word out. Oh, well, thank you so much. So nice meeting you. Welcome to our store. All right. Bye. Yeah. You want to take a look over here? Okay. Real quick. Let's peek around. When I walked in earlier, the music was playing, so I'm glad it's off so the widow don't get in trouble with Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I turned it off. <laughs> Hi, Mom. All right. Okay. So what's really different with our store too is we like to, if you already make your own and you already are into oils, okay. we really like to offer a lot of DIY options. So if you want to make your own soap at home, you want to make your own lip balms, you want to make your own blends, we have that available too, which a lot of people, if you don't want to buy in bulk, because a lot of online, you know, bigger companies, they sell largely in bulk and you can't get items like one or two of everything. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Okay, you take care. We'll go this way out. All right. Are those soap rocks? Is this soap? Those are salt rocks. Okay. And those, this is the Himalayan salt, which you can actually use to cook on. Okay. 
And then you can also put them in your bath and to use to eat too, because this is from the Himalayas. Nice, very cool. Yeah. All right. I am not. How about you? Yeah. My wife will appreciate it. Yeah. This is my favorite. I'll give you this one. This okay. is peppermint and lime. Or just you. Well, oh, that's perfect. Red. There's lavender rosemary. Oh, very so nice. There's always natural colors from made from plants. Okay. And everything in there is always natural with coconut. Do you have a little bag so I can carry oh, yeah, it? Oh, here. I'll put yeah. it in the bag. That way I'll uh, not put it in my pocket. <laughs> All right, so we'll make sure to share their website. Himalayan rocks. Himalayan salt rocks. I got to remember that. This one you can cook on. That's what she said right here. You cook on that one. Yeah, put, put a card in there too so it's got. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's fine. There's no rush. Well, uh, like I said, after tonight, people are going to know you're here. <laughs> so, yeah, we focus on uh, Akron and the surrounding area. That's why the, the name of the show is 330 to go. So we cover, we cover all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, but like I said, tonight's our Hudson. I'll, I'll carry him. Yeah, Thank you so did, much. They do want to come to Harville, too. We're open there for the weekend. Okay. They have lots of great stuff out there, too. Like all right. That sounds so good. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, that was fun. Watch your cord. Oh, listen, the clock's going. All right. Lucia's, she said that they would most likely be, most likely be, are you closed? Closed? You guys want to? She's, oh, they are open. Okay. So once again, we continue our tour of downtown Hudson right now. We're in, it's, you say it, Lucia's? Is that how you pronounce it? Okay. So here we are, folks. We're in Lucia's. Uh, this is a, a local salon that's right downtown, right on Main Street here. So why don't you go ahead and say hi. Say hi to Akron, Ohio right now. And tell us uh, when you guys open and what do you guys specialize in? So we specialize in color. We actually just got first place in hair color for Akron, Canton, like the hot spot hotline. And we are open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday, and then, I mean 8 a.m., <laughs> and then 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday. And we're not open Sundays or Mondays. Okay, very cool. Uh, what's, your, what's your first name? Caitlin. I'm, I'm Hank. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so um, in fact, you can see right here they got their they got their little their little notice 2018 hot list winner of best hair color in the area. How about that? We didn't even know we were walking into that one. So we'll uh, we'll take one of these yeah. and we will put you guys up online. So make sure you look for us in our in our show. So you're on right now, okay? We don't want to bother these folks right here. They're hard at work. All right. So thank you guys. You take care now. Once again, they're located right down on. The main drag in downtown Hudson, directly kitty corner across from the clock tower area. And that is Lucia's, the salon on Main. There's that. Okay. Hi. How are you? So I knew they'd be closed, but a lot of people know this place. I think they're closed. It looks closed. Uh, they close at 7. That's the Learned Owl Bookshop. A lot of folks... Um, that I know that our friends of mine have been to the Learned Owl. That's down here. We got the Peach Tree Southern Kitchen and Cocktails location. They focus mostly on brunch. They do have happy hours uh, from Tuesday to Friday, but right now they're closed. Um, but that's down here on Main. The next store is called the Land of Make Believe. Okay, and the Land of Make Believe is the is a local toy and game store right again on Main, and you can see it's located. Um, right next to Peach Tree, so check that out. The land of make believe. Then we got your local farmer's insurance agent. Again, historical Hudson blended with art and unique stuff. I put a picture of this up already on social media. First of all, Dave's Cosmic Subs is right here. Okay, but take a look at that. Can you get a look at that sign? 
right here, the CLE Social. It's a local, old school video arcade. So if you're looking for a place to play old school video games, you have to find this little back alley right on downtown Hudson, and there's where the door is. <laughs> so the, the 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 sign points here, and you go down steps into like this little catacombs area, and somewhere down there, there's a video arcade. They I put the picture up on our 330 uh, site earlier. They are only open d on the weekends, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is when you can head on down to that arcade. All right, so. The Uncommon Art Gallery and Studios, she said to stop on in to see if the door was open. You going to be okay on these steps, Moon Man? All right, so here we go. Yeah, Good job not filming my booty. Let's see if she's still here. Oh, the door's open. The door's open. The door's open. See, I love that right there. That's why we're doing this. Shop small, shop local. And she's a member of the Merchants of Hudson community. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. What is your first name? I'm Karen. Karen, I'm Hank. Nice to meet you officially this time. Yeah. So we're excited you're still open. Okay. Uh, we, we cover a lot of Akron, okay? okay? So this is our first trip to Hudson, and it's part of our 330, so we want right. to include yeah. you guys, right? So um, obviously you make all your own stuff, okay? Right. So how does, uh, what are your normal store hours, and what do you specialize in? Well, we are three artists, okay. and we have our studios here. So there's three of us who work here. I do kind of collage, mixed media things. We have a woman who's a painter. She's an oil painter, portrait painter. And then we have a woman who makes jewelry. Okay. So we do our own work here. We teach classes. We're open Tuesdays through Saturdays, regular business hours. OK. And uh, okay. OK. Is Now, is there anything that um, if people have like a like a request or can they put requests in? Yep, we say, do hey, commissions, you know, um, Shannon, who's our portrait painter, often does portraits of people on commission. She can work from people or photographs and she's wonderful. Okay. She's really good at catching the character of people. So okay. that's kind of neat. Do you guys do any kind of classes or? We do, we offer classes in mixed media and drawing and painting. Um, I have a sketching group that meets once a week and we go to different locations all around the area and sketch on location and that's free and open to anybody okay. so we've got all kinds of things what is if someone wants to what's the best way to get a hold of you guys we have a website it's uncommonarthudson.com um, phone numbers 234-284-9019 things like that and then we also organize the gallery hop here in Hudson I don't know if you've heard about that yet oh, boy, awesome. um, it's there's five of us galleries in town that work together on this it's this year it's quarterly and we always do something fun and kind of interactive the one we're having in august is friday august 10th and we're going to do living art so this is where we imitate famous art with real people so we're going to transform our space into andy warhol's factory oh, nice. so it's going to be all 60s and silver and campbell soup cans and we're going to have a hands-on printmaking project going on and Couple of the other places are going to. When is this again? It's Friday, August tenth, okay. from five thirty to eight thirty. Okay. And it's fun, family friendly. Um, Does do people have to pre-register? Nope. Or just show they up? just show up, and if they for this one, if they want to show up in costume as their favorite art or artist, okay, they are more than welcome to do that. My kid, my daughters would love something. Like that, yeah. So, so okay. it's fun. Hopefully, honey, you're watching this, and we'll right. we'll talk about it when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, last word. Say the last word. What would you like to say to our audience? Appreciate it. Come on up. We'd love to show you what we're working on and let you try your hand at art. We've all got, always got art supplies out that you can play with and kind of experiment with, and we'd love to see you. So okay. thank you. Let me grab a, can you give me your card so I can get a hold of you? Card, and here's a all right, sounds good. living art okay. card. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll, we'll attach you guys into the to pod, right. okay? Thank you. All right. And it's neat because you're upstairs, too, so it's very unique. And we'll, we'll watch our step. <laughs> Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. It's from Merton, the second one, and the first was from Picasso. All right. Moving on down, moving on down. We got the Hudson Oriental Rugs Manufacturer and Importer located right here at the corner. 
and then we're not going to turn the corner movement in. We're going to go straight. But if you just take a peek down here, this is what I'm talking about. So this is the main area where we're at right now, but then all of those areas back into the left and to the right, uh, those are all different shops that are similar to these. They're just not on the Main Street area. We got our green light here. Let's go. All right, we're coming on by back by the clock again. And we're going to head on into our next destination. And this is the Open Door Coffee Company. Open Door. I had talked to them. They're, 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 they're expecting us. So I had also mentioned, oh, look, she's, she's, got the, she's got her smile on already. I had also mentioned that this place would be perfect for the Hop and the Bean for our second show. And just go ahead and moon man, take a look at the take a look at the rich history uh, as we have encountered already throughout the city. Um, I'm gonna put this down right here because I'm running out of hands. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. What is your first name? Alex. Okay, Alex. I'm Hank. We met earlier. Okay. So why don't you tell us about uh, about the store and and tell us how long you guys have been around and and just kind of give us the gist of of everything. We've been open for about four years. Uh, we focus a lot on sustainability. Okay. So all of our beans are fair trade. We're moving into like having compostable straws, stuff of that nature. Okay. Um, what are your typical hours here? We open 6.30 during the week, seven on the weekends, and we're open till eight o'clock every day except for Sunday, which we close at five. Okay. If you had to pick like one or two of your specialty coffees, what would you say are some fan favorites or even some of your favorites that you serve? Well, anything that's listed up there as a house specialty is going to be our most popular. Uh, for me, I definitely really, really like the lavender lemonade. Okay. It's super, super good. Very refreshing. And then for espresso drinks, I really like the honey cinnamon latte. Okay. Honey cinnamon latte and lavender lemonade. Is the lavender only a summer drink? No, we have it all year round. Okay, sweet. All right, uh, go ahead and say one more thing. Last thing to the viewers, what would you, how would you like to encourage them to come say hi to you? We do the best drinks, best coffee around, always serve with a smile, and always excellent. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for your time. Um, again, is there a card or anything? I'll just, uh, any kind of business card that I can pub you guys on our site? <clears throat> thank you so much. So we'll include you in that, and uh, thank you for being a part of tonight, okay? All right, you guys take care. Are you the owner by chance? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna say, don't don't put the camera. On. I'm just gonna say hi real quick. Okay, this is us. That's our show. So this place is awesome. Okay, um, and our second show that we do is called the Hop and the Bean, and um, uh, Buzz uh, Andrews is our host for that, and he focuses specifically on coffee and beer places. Okay, so don't be surprised if he contacts you sometime in the next couple of weeks. Okay, okay. that sound good. Sounds brilliant. Yeah, but you got a beautiful place here, so thanks for letting us stop Thank in. You okay. Very much. All right. Yeah. Take care. Yep. No problem. I'm, run, I'm running out of pockets. I need a bag. I know, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop them here in a second. Here, we'll, we'll have one of these. Would you, would you mind holding this for me real quick? Thank you so much. You're, on, you're live on the air right now. Say hi to Akron, Ohio. I'm stuffing my pockets real quick. So you're on a show. It's called 330 to go. Are you, do you live here in Hudson? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I live in Hudson. Okay. Um, if you were to tell our audience right now, what are some of the favorite places that you go when you're downtown? Where where would that be? Um, Heartwood Coffee Roasters. Okay. Where are they located? They are a little bit down 91 um, behind Fussy Cleaners. Okay. I'm stuffing my pockets right now. Everybody's giving us like free samples and cards, <laughs> and I can't do that all that and carry the mic at the same time. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. You have a good night. You too. Here, here I'll, I'll give you this. You were live on uh, 3 Throw to Go tonight. All right, so check it out, downtown Hudson. Okay. Hudson Fine Art and Framing Company, as we continue our walk, I went and said hi to the folks from Gray Colt, and the folks at Gray Colt uh, specialize in all kinds of uh, custom clothing. Um, so make sure if you're interested in that, you can see kind of like Wicked Stitch, uh, the places you'll see around at the Art at the art Expo. Um, they sell that clothing right here downtown on the square. <clears throat> and moving on down, we've got Keller Williams Realty. So it's interesting, right, because you've got a blend. Uh, Western Reserve Music's here too, and they do music repair. They do instrument repair as well. 
Looks like they're open and jamming. You want to go in? Yeah, let's pop in. If you, keep on jamming, man. Keep on jamming. You're live on the air right now. So, how are you? G good, good. Are you one of the... You just work here? Are you one of the owners, by chance? Okay. Head on over here, Moon Man. All right, so you guys are right down here on the on the square. We're 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 a live show right now in, in Akron, Ohio. Okay, and we uh, we cover uh, fun things to do in and around the area. Okay, so tonight we're highlighting Hudson. So if you wouldn't mind telling us how long has the shop been around? I think the shop has been here about twelve years, give or take. Uh, we moved here. I have very vague memories of uh, the the little toy store that this used to be, and I would have been five years old the last time I was in here. So right about. 12 years seems about right. Okay. And what do you guys focus on? I saw you, it looks like you do instrument rental. Do you do repairs as well and lessons? Mm -hmm. All of those things. Um, we've actually got lessons going on right now that people might be able to hear. Um, there's a sax uh, player down there. Um, okay. I think there's a trombone lesson starting as well. So. If people want to get a hold of you guys to sign up for or look into instrument rental, how do they find you guys? Just give us a call. Our number is 330-342-7317. And we can fill out a contract over the phone. You guys can come in and fill one out. Um, we're right across from the clock tower, so we're not we're not difficult to find. Easy to find. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, for for us surprising you. All right, we're heading on out. All right, man. Looks like they got vinyl for sell and trade as well. Look at that. And that's the Western Reserve music. And again, you're you. That Western Reserve name keeps coming up, right? Because it all goes back to the history. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna tell you we're just gonna we're not gonna walk down that way. We're just gonna take a look, okay? So you got you got Kepner's down there. You got Hudson's, uh, the Hudson uh, famous restaurant. Hudson's restaurant is down there. You know what? Let's go ahead and walk to Vertical Runner. But this is where this is our ending point. The downtown 140 uh, vignettes. Okay, that's a there's a wine bar and restaurant in there, and we're gonna we're gonna stop in there in just a little bit, and then we'll finish up our coverage there, and maybe even grab some food. <laughs> so let's head on over this way. Let's walk a bit. We got the country blues classic clothing store. It's all Levi's typical country clothes. Okay, located right here. Again, this is right on Main and Hudson. And then there's a U.S. bank conveniently right here in the middle for all these shops. you got to fuel up and get your money <laughs> so you can go spend it. Howard Hanna's right here downtown. we got a jewelry art place. And I, I wanted to stop in here. Uh, I've heard of this place before. It's similar to the one down in the valley, but it's Vertical Runner. Uh, Vertical Runner. Um, they, it says, but I'm not a runner. We fit all feet. Yes, even yours. All right, so we're going to stop in. They're open till 8, Monday through Friday. I mentioned we'd stop in there with them. All right, so again, we're right downtown on the Hudson Square. Oh, she's yelling. <laughs> she's yelling, they're here, they're here. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, good. So, again, uh, right downtown Hudson, and you've got a, you've got a, you got a shoe store that also sells apparel, uh, mostly for adventure apparel, right? That's what they focus on. Um, I think someone was coming here to talk, or they all went, or they all went hiding. Is she coming back up? There she is. How are you? Is it okay we talk? Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay, so here we are. And what's the name? The official name of the store? Vertical Runner. The adventure starts here. I love that tagline. Okay. So what's your first name? I'm Aaron. I'm Hank. Nice to meet you officially. Hi. This time. Okay. So, uh, you know, how long have you guys been here? Um, well, the owner, um, Vertical Runner, stands for uh, VR for Vince Rucci. Okay. So he's the owner of the store. Okay. Um, he started the store in September 2003. Okay. And this is the very first store here in Hudson that he okay. opened. Okay. Um, we do have a couple other stores in Braxville. Worcester and a couple through like Breckenridge, Colorado and Black Mountain in North Carolina. Well, it's interesting though because it looks like you guys do sell and carry stuff that you're not going to find in other stores. Oh, definitely not. We're definitely a running specialty store. Okay. Um, what really sets us apart from a lot of the other stores is that um, people always recognize us for our trail running stuff. Yeah, that's, um, that was my point. Yes. Okay. 
we are very well known for our trail running stock um just having a wide variety of shoes people can try um and different stuff they haven't even heard about before and the different companies and uh just kind of seeing what's out there okay no man, I'm a old, I I'm, I'm 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 I could I'm middle aged <laughs> old white guy. I'm not I'm white tube sock guy all the way. We can still help you. I know I, I yeah, we I'll, can still help you. <laughs> no no, I, I'm an athlete. I played soccer for 35 years. But oh. I saw I saw it there. I love I love on the sign it says I but I don't run. But it says that you fit all feet. I oh like yeah, that. we'll fit anybody. So we don't just do runners. We'll do we just want people to have a good shoe for anything. So we get walkers, hikers, people that just rec get a good recommendation from a doctor that they just need to g have a good shoe around um what else do we have just kids will fit lots of kids especially coming around cross country is coming up we really sell a lot to the kids and then their families kind of are like all right let's get some shoes um who else do we well, do you to? do you you don't actually make specialty shoes though do you no. You just fit them and make we sure that you fit the right kind. We fit them, so we'll check them out and how they walk first. Okay. Um, we'll see if they pronate, which is where they'll roll in, or if they supinate, um, where they roll on the outside of their foot a little bit more, or if they're just a neutral strike, so they'll go right through the middle of their foot. And based off of kind of what we see and then measuring their foot to see how big or small it is, um, we kind of pull shoes that we think will fit best for their foot. Um, and we'll take recommendations from them too, like whether a shoe doesn't work for them or one has in the past and they really liked it. Um, we'll really listen to the customer and make sure that we fit the right thing for them. Okay. Uh, do you have any kind of a card or anything that we could use to put your information on the, uh, coupled with our site tonight? Oh, we should. Let's see. Looks like she's got one there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just have to go back and rewatch the video. Yeah. Or if you could just tell us, uh, what is is there a website that you guys have? Um, you like could that? just look us up online, uh, verticalrunner.com. Okay. And we'll is there a phone number to reach you? Yes. Do we have? Oh, my gosh. How do we have <laughs> That's hysterical. Well, uh, we do give them out a lot. So okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll look you up. We'll okay. look you up. Thank you. All right. One last comment uh, uh, to go. What would you like to say to our viewing audience to, to say goodbye? Uh... Just come and visit us, and we'll fit you for anything, whether you're running, jogging, walking, you just need a good shoe. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. All right, you guys take care now. I appreciate you being on. All right. <laughs> Looking for some fresh kicks. The newest styles from Brooks, Ghost 2, and Pure Grit Hoka Asics. Is it Saucony? Is that how you say that? Mizuno. All right, so there's that. Is there a phone? There's the phone number, three three zero six five six one one seven six. All right, one more stop, and then we'll call it a day. So, in reading everything, as I was mentioning earlier, the the city of Hudson is very well known for um, the 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 abolishment of slavery. So, if you can see, uh, Moon Man's kind of try and zoom in here hi guys how are you all right so if you just the good shot right there so moon man's gonna zoom in and that is the first let me let me pull up my I have a picture of it here right, where'd it go okay so that is the all right here we go that is the first congregational church of Hudson and on this site, the first meeting house owned by the Hudson Congregational Church was dedicated in 1820. 21 years after David Hudson first came to the Hudson area, its members met here until they completed their sanctuary on Aurora Street in 1865. In 1835, the church is best known for unanimously adopting a resolution declaring that slavery is a direct violation of the law of Almighty God. So the first declaration of slavery being illegal in terms of calling for abolishment was done in Hudson, Ohio in 1835. Okay, there's that guy beeping at us. He likes that too. So how cool is that? How cool is that? So, um, you know, I didn't know that. That was news to me when I started walking around and, and filming. Um, so yeah, very, very, very cool. Um, so we're going to continue to walk on down. And it, 
it gets more into the history. Uh, if you look, there's two plaques over there in the middle of the uh, park, and they discuss they discuss things in more detail right there. And I put those pictures up on online as well. All right, so we're gonna we're heading down to our last stop now, and then we'll just sign off uh, for our show this evening. But again, folks, the 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 area is is bustling during the day. Hi, hi, little one. The area is bustling during the day. Very. Uh, very much uh, a, a, an early day town. Um, so most most of the businesses open up at eight. Most of them close by four or five o'clock in the in the afternoon. All right, so here we're going into downtown 140, a wine bar a restaurant. And it, this place struck me right because I walk in and I'm like, okay, well where where is this? And then it's like, okay, I guess we're going down here around the corner. And we start walking down. Watch your step, Moon Man. Eat, drink, downtown 140. And here we go, heading on down, and we go down a little further. And down in the basements in downtown Hudson is this posh wine bar location. So right now, it looks like uh, they're going to go uh, grab the owner for us right now. I believe I saw him. I, I, <laughs> sorry, we're going that way. <laughs> She's like, no, no, we won't have you guys a camera. Okay. We're heading in right now. Is he here? Is he still here? Okay, sounds good. All right, so you want to step over this way by the bar? So once again, folks, here we are. We're in downtown Hudson right now at a wine bar called 140. We're going to head on over toward the bar area. And uh, make sure you get a good view of the bar. Just don't, don't show any patrons, right, because we don't want... We don't want folks to be we don't want folks to be nervous or embarrassed or anything. So you can show us. Okay. This this is us. We're live right now. Okay. So we're a uh, we're a live uh, Facebook. Uh, well, I can, you can have one too. Okay. We do we do um, we cover things and stories in and around the Akron area. So we literally focus on 330, which is the area code, and we try to make sure that we include other cities that aren't Akron. So today our feature is on Hudson. So we, we, started, we started in dealing with the historical aspect of the town, and then we did a walk up Main Street and, and wanted to focus on some of the smaller shops here as well. Do you love Hudson? Well, I live in West Akron, so it's interesting because although I'm in Akron proper for the most part, West Akron still has its own identity, okay? And Hudson, uh, you know, I, I've never lived here, but I come up here often to shop with, with my family. Um, and then I also play soccer up here at NC, oh, you know, nice. at, at, at the uh, at the at the my indoor place. To play there. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, are you do you live in Hudson then? Yeah. And you love the I town. Was, I was pretty much born and raised. Love it. Love it. Been back and forth. But okay. Yeah, back now for the summer. So it's okay. Great. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, pretty. We don't want to bother you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Okay. Here, here comes the owner. I believe he's walking over, so welcome in there. Here, okay. is here okay? Hi, I'm Hank. Hi, Andy Lowry. How are you? Andy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And we're not trying to be disruptive, but not we, at all. we want to get you guys as much publicity as possible. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, we took a look at Hudson, right? And and you know, one of the things that I was surprised at was the history behind the town. A lot of history in regards to the intricate roles that it played with the abolishment of slavery and all that. Um, and then you know, I've always been familiar with the square and the downtown area, but I've never really had a chance to go and say hi to all the shops. And when we were walking by, I saw the. The, the little, you know, you got a little sign up there to your place, right? And you walk down, and here's this gorgeous nightclub. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So tell us about when you started, and when, when you guys got the idea to do this, and how long. Give us your story. The rest restaurant's been here for about 15 years. I've owned it for the last five years. Okay. Um, kind of your same thing. Came down the stairs, saw this beautiful little restaurant, said, "What a great place to probably own one day." And sure enough. I did. Nice. I came here seven years ago for dinner, and then obviously I, uh, or back in 2007 I came, excuse me, and then ended up eventually taking it over. So okay. um, my crew were small. It's a 65-seat open kitchen restaurant, uh, basically American uh, cuisine, uh, fresh seafood from Honolulu, Hawaii, steaks, oysters, chops, pastas, everything's made in-house. Um, really uh, just a quaint little spot. Uh, we are located down below, kind of speakeasy-ish. Yeah. Uh, 
back in the day, this building used to be a uh, an underground railroad stop, actually, and then it's kind of evolved from there with different items. But the restaurant here, again, has been here for about 15 years in Hudson. It's well known, um, and we just actually even put it on the map even a little bit more now. So, okay. Very um, nice. yeah. Uh, if, if, if there's one to go to, uh, you know, when you when people say that you have to try that food, yeah. what, what, what are the couple of the dishes? Well, it's funny you said that. I just had a customer here tonight that's going to end up having a dinner party here and asked me that same question. That's a very hard question to ask someone, only sure. because of the fact we don't know your dislikes and likes, but by, sure. by the time I start going through the menu, I've gone through the entire menu because sure. everything is really highly recommendable. The braised pork belly is phenomenal, uh, cured salmon with avocado, ponzu soy, appetizers are uh, bone marrow, uh, shrimp cocktail, oysters, we do an array of oysters, raw seafood or Rockefeller style, um, I mean a raw baked or Rockefeller. Um, Steaks, chops, pastas are all in-house made. So really quite an array of uh, just really fresh, wonderful, uh, in-season products. So we really, we're small. So we get deliveries every single day, fresh as can be, fresh seafood from Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, just wonderful grouper, uh, ahi, tuna. It's just really some wonderful, wonderful items. Do you guys do like so gift cards? or? We do gift cards, uh, any denomination. We also do, if you sign up on our website and whatnot, we do wine dinners, try to do wine dinners once uh, every other month. We try to do something. We've done beer dinners, scotch dinners, um, wine dinners. So we try to uh, put our hat in the ring for anything. Outside catering is uh, something we can also do, uh, depending on the size and the night. Uh, but for the most part, we'll try to uh, throw our hat in the ring for anything. So. Cool. Well, uh, the reason I asked that is we do a lot of specials, too. With oh, show, sure. And we'll make sure to give away one of your gift cards. So We'd love, great. Yeah, absolutely. So, We'd um, love to. But yeah, and then we also have a program now that we've started with Alexa where we're an approved Amazon scale where I do a morning briefing for the city of Akron. Oh, okay. And what we do is we highlight different restaurants. And uh, on that special day, if they go to that restaurant, they can just mention our name oh, sure. and they get $3.30 off the menu. Oh, because of 3.30. There just, you go. Just the total. 3.30. Right? So you got it. Right, sure. Savings, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, yeah, That's we'll, a great idea. We'll be, we'll be sure to include you guys. Absolutely. Well, thank so, you. Yeah. But, yeah, the point is, though, this place is really neat, and uh, I'm glad we got a chance to drop by. Yeah, we're only open for dinner, Tuesday through Sunday. By, um, and then uh, close on Mondays, okay. but uh, a lot of fun. We enjoy what we do. Uh, very close knit staff, and uh, really just uh, we enjoy what we do. So okay. come on out and see us. Thank you Thanks so much for taking I appreciate the time. It. Yep. You All right. Take care. Appreciate it. All righty. We're gonna stop and stay here and eat. By the way. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Let's sign up, my man. Once again, folks, uh, we've had some fun with you here tonight. You know what a nice place to visit right here in Ohio, Hudson, Ohio. Uh, just make sure you tune in next week as we dive headfirst into procedures and techniques that women use to feel good and upkeep their health and their beauty. That name of that show is called What Women Want. We're doing it live from Stakeout Studios. But until then, don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense in being late. Say goodnight, Shirley.